Well, good day, too. How's she hanging? Pretty good here. So, I got my package in from uh, Steiner for replacing all that ignition stuff on the big 800 there. And hopefully, this is going to work now. Rah! Now, Steiner likes to put their staples in. One there, one there, one there. They like their staples. So, Oh, I ruined my knife <laughs> on a staple here. I'll pull her off, pull them out. One, <laughs> two. <laughs> three. It's like pulling teeth. So, I went with all the recommendations when you look at the uh, electronic ignition. They want you to use a certain coil, they want you to use certain wires, and a resistor for some resistance. So, I think that's what my problem was. <clears throat> was it was uh, frying the resistor in the coils. Oh, that got a bit mushed. Should be all good though. So there's the new kit. Another Patronix, hundred and fifty odd dollars, whatever it is, and uh, should be the same as before. And I think, whoop, hang on a sec. I think it fried this little chip here and here, and that's your sensor that fires the coil when the little magnet thing comes around. I think it's fried that on me. So unfortunately. Too bad, but uh, we'll go again. And that's the little guy with the little magnet in it. We should. Yeah, a little magnet there. So one, I think it's where all these circles are maybe. So one, that's off a little bit. Two, three, and cylinder four. Pretty clever. <laughs> they should have had these out years ago, but anyway, so that's this little part. Put this back in the box here for now. I'm not going to install this today, I don't think. Uh, um, I'll wait until it gets uh, a little bit uh, better outside. And that looks like the coil is really heavy. That's interesting. I guess it's just the, the box, but that's the little resistor. That's got a big wire in it there. I don't know if you can see right underneath this thing. There's a big wire. So they give you a mount. Now I've got I got this old bracket here. I don't know if that's going to work. I might mount it in there, but I think I'm going to mount it up maybe under the dash or or somewhere. But uh, that'll just mount to a bolt kind of thing, and then you run. One of these from your ignition wire from the key switch through the resistor and then down to your coil. And they say it doesn't matter which way it goes where. So uh, a lot of people mount these right down by the coil. I think that makes it look kind of kind of crappy. I'd rather just see one wire coming down. That's probably what I'll end up doing. But I'll put this back in the box for now. That's like a ceramic thing too. Ceramic so it disperses the heat. And a whole bunch of cow tails. Oh man, I'll take those in for Dylan. He might eat those. They're good until you, if you chew them too long, then they start to taste nasty. So, what do we got here? Oh, that's just all the the order of stuff. Okay. And we got some spark plug wires. Now I put new ones on, but now I don't remember which ones they were. I wonder if I'll be able to look back and kind of see, but oh, that's a shorty. I might be able to see what the old one was, and if it looks like one of these, I'll maybe just keep running with it. But they don't want you to use the copper or the stainless steel core. They want you to use the, um, oh, what's that other stuff? Their name for it. Oh, you know what? There's, no, never mind. I was going to say, there's the old distributor up there with the old plugs on it, but that would be different wires again, so. Um, anyways, got in there for now. I think I might just, well, it might tell you on the 
cable here too. I can maybe match it up. Silicone suppression. Seven millimeter silicone. I don't know it doesn't tell you what's inside. Well, anyways. All right, so that's good for those. Um, so the resistor, the electronics. It's an expensive little box here. And there's the coil. Now, this is not like one of these, which is internally resisted. I don't know why they even have these because obviously they are just junk and they don't. I don't know. I have no idea. So this one is quite a bit heavier, though, surprisingly. And uh, used with electronic ignition. It says right there. So this should this should work. Now it would be nice if it said on there and use with voltage resistor. It doesn't say that, but anyways. So that should be good. Good, good. We'll work on this soon, but it's not going to be today. Um, <clears throat> these things I guess are sealed shut I don't know whether it's a good idea to crack into one of them or not I don't think we better but I don't think there'll be power left in this but you could get a good zap out of this thing if you uh, messed around with that but let's um, there's a screw I don't know if that's going to get us too far there's a screw down in here I think that just takes this little metal clip thing out. Okay, maybe it's not coming out at all. I think it's coming out. Yeah, so that just goes down into the body of it. I don't think there's much else we can really do with this. Um, oh, there is some liquid in there though. That's probably not good. What's that on my hand now? It's probably some kind of mineral oil. That's not good. It smells like an oil, mineral oil or something. Uh, I'm just gonna hit my hand with this stuff here. That stuff off me. I highly doubt it's PCD oil or anything like that, but I didn't expect to be oil in there. You can feel it wobbling in there though. Interesting. I never knew there was liquid in them. <laughs> Some kind of oil, I guess. I wanted to pop her open, but I don't think I'm going to bother with that. I don't want to get that all over me. So, that PCB oil is probably about the worst stuff they ever come out with. Man-made stuff. Yeah, listen to that, eh? Huh. Who'd have thought? I didn't know there was liquid in them. Um, anyways, let's... Uh, See if this one has liquid in it. I guess it keeps it cool. Yeah, I guess it does. Huh. Well, it must help transmit the power out too or something when you're all this power, right? But there we go. Okay. Well, um, yeah, I guess that's probably about it for today. Just a shorty today. Uh, I just wanted to show you them new parts that we're going to be installing and that should be coming up soon I'll do it when it's daytime out it's really dark at night right now so I don't really want to do it right now but hopefully that fixes our problems ah <sighs> what a fight this has been been through what, what three four sets of points three sets of points for sure not the points the condensers so it fries the condensers i guess too much juice in there um and we went through this electronic ignition that it fried too so and probably the coil as well so <sighs> not good 
So we'll uh, replace all this stuff here. Uh, we'll probably do another video of that even though you kind of seen all this already because we've already been through all this already, but I'll probably, um, well, I should check the plug wires and see what, how am I gonna do that? I'm gonna go grab one right now just quick and see off the tractor, uh, the actual tractor, see if I need to change these wires or not. Okay, so yes, these are the wrong wires. Copper core, I don't know if you can see that. Copper core wires, they want you to use the graphite wire. So yes, let's have a look here. Let me grab a wire out here and uh, we're gonna have a look at the core of these wires. Anyone wanna work, I'm sure. Okay, so let's get a zoom in if we can. And you can see that wire in there. Let me get a bit more light maybe here. See that graphite looking wire in there compared to the copper cord wire there. They don't want you to use these copper ones and I'm really not sure why. So we had many things working against us for this to fail. Unfortunately, it did. We had the wrong coil. We had no resistor, the correct resistor probably. We had the wrong plug wires. <laughs> so we had lots of failure options there, and it looks like it uh, failured on us. So that's not good. But yeah, that is definitely not the right plug wire. And I wish I would have read it sooner, but I didn't, and uh, that's what happened. So. But anyways, yes, copper, copper core. Not too good. But anyways, we'll get all that stuff changed again soon here, and uh, hopefully she runs better. Should hopefully run better. Oh boy, it better run better. <laughs> oh man. And I uh, shouldn't have a problem then. Funny thing was, so after I changed all this electronic ignition and stuff over, it started and ran, but it didn't seem to start right to me. So hopefully this will alleviate that too. Like it started, but it didn't start didn't start like it did with the points in, if you know what I mean. It seemed to start faster with the points where the electronic ignition is supposed to make it start faster. So we'll see what happens. But uh, anyways, that's it for today. Thanks again for watching. We'll get this all done up here soon here, hopefully, whenever uh, it gets a little nicer outside there. We can get into the, the other building there, the container, and we'll get them switched over. Too bad it fried the electron ignition. Um, it might have potentially maybe just fried the coil. I probably probably should try it. I'll change the plug wires and change that coil over and get the resistor in. And uh, then it'll maybe it'll still work. Maybe it just fried the coil. We'll see what happens, maybe. Um, I just don't know yet until we kind of get into there and we'll change a few things around and uh, yeah, should be all good to go. So that is it for today again. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch you all later and we'll see you soon. We'll get this all switched over and running again, hopefully. And before we hopefully get some snow and uh, you know, cause I wanted to try that snowblower. Well, I can't do that if it's not running right. So we'll get on her here. But uh, anyways, thanks again. Catch you all later and you guys have a good day.